Namibian Society of Composers and Authors of Music will on the 24th of April host a corporate open day for all NASCAM licensees at the NAST Hotel School. Joining us via Zoom to share more on this is the Chief Executive Officer of NASCAM, Mr. Albert Nikanor. So good evening and welcome to the show. Good evening, Nina. How are you? And um, welcome to your listeners. I'm good. Thank you so much for joining us. Just to start with, perhaps, Mr. Nikanor, talk to us about the objective or vision behind hosting uh, this corporate open day. Basically, the idea is just to raise awareness uh, for our licenses. If you remember well, last year, you asked me the question about what was the objective of the CEO. Uh, one of those objectives is to create a harmonious relationship amongst our customers and our, our members. So we are embarking on this uh, activity, which is to engage our users, which is the licensees, to learn from them and to share our mandate, basically, and also to share some info, important information. Um, so it is the first of its kind for us. So we are trying to to, to make sure that um, our users have a platform where they can engage and communicate their issues, and also to learn from them how we can better our services. And Mr. Nikonor, what strategies have been put in place to ensure you know meaningful engagement uh, with the attendees during this event? Yeah, I think firstly we have sent out an uh, invitation. Together with that invitation, we sent out a survey uh, for those who are going to attend online or in person to send us their questions um, or issues which they want us to address during that uh, open day. We also gonna unpack some of the data uh, in terms of the distribution, the works we use on the, which is used by the licenses on their programs. We're also going to have a Q&A sessions, so this will obviously help us to gauge what are the issues uh, from our licenses. We'll also have uh, some of our members to, to engage with the, with the licensees, discuss and also ask questions pertinent to the licensees, why certain things are not perhaps um, working for them, and they want some answers as well from the broadcasters. Fantastic. So these are the issues and the mixed bag of, uh, of um, activities or let me just say strategies we're going to use to engage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also speak to us sir, about NASCAM's plan to demonstrate its commitment to innovation and uh, you know, technology, uh, technology advancements. Okay, I think firstly let me just clarify in terms of uh, technology. We, we, we use systems basically which are on the market to manage our, our databases and to manage our interfaces with our members or either with the, with the broadcasters uh, and to use those um, systems to ingest information or data which we collect. So in that aspect, I think uh, that is the only medium which we can say we are we are using in terms of technology because these systems are some are very outdated. Uh, it is not really effective at the moment because there is a lot of manual work going on in these systems we are using. And also we are trying to improve uh, basically using new technology coming out uh, going forward on how to use the data which is, the, is, is, is usually collected on a regular basis, monthly basis from the users which is the broadcasters, and how we can ingest it into our system uh, effortlessly, because that is the key for us, because we have um, data, a lot of data, which is works, which is played by the broadcasters. You know, this data is not just simply letters, it is uh, works registered with us, so it has to be matched. So the data must be matched with, a, with a, what do you call it, a system. Uh, which we call, this system is basically is used to, to verify the data which is collected and to, to see what is on our database and then it matches and then it says, okay, this is the amount of work that can be uh, uh, collected. Uh, what, is the, 
and this is the work that cannot qualify to be paid uh, royalties. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think we. So we want to discuss this at the, at the open day with our members, with our with our licenses, mm -hmm. and the members have a lot We're of questions. Choose, about some of them yes, choose the broadcasters. I think Sorry? we. I think we touched on, on this following oh, oh. point uh, previously in when we spoke uh, last year about how NASCAM ensures fair compensation for its licenses while also protecting the rights of composers, authors and publishers. But perhaps uh, you can just refresh our memory there once again. Oh. Sorry, can you repeat the question? There is some background there. Uh, is a guest room available? available? My apologies for that. I was saying perhaps you can talk to us about how NASCAM ensures fair compensation for its licensees while also protecting the rights of the composers, authors and publishers. And I do believe that is something we touched on uh, with the conversation we had when we had you on the show last year. But perhaps you can just refresh our memories. All right. Thank you for that question. I think basically uh, from the onset when I uh, came on board, um, we had to identify what are the issues that are problematic in terms of the distribution. And one key issue, Nina, is the distribution policy, which is not uh, available. So I want to put it in layman's terms to say a distribution policy is basically how NASCAM is going about to do the distribution on a regular basis, on a monthly basis. What data are we going to use? What categories are we going to have to distribute? And what is the formula going forward are we using to distribute uh, the amount of royalties for each member? So in this document, which is really very, very key for us to have, and in the absence of this document, it is just basically a directive every time how do we do this? Let's just do this. Because it is it has been going on like this for a while. But now this year, for the first time, once we are done with this document, we're going to also make it aware to our, our members and explain to them how the distribution works. See, you remember the, the issue we had, Charlie, when I discussed with you last year, was the lack of information <laughs> that the members do not understand how things are being done at their scale. So now, with a document, it is easier for them. We can dissect the document and say, what is this section all about? What is this section all about? You know, we can explain. And that is very key for us because, <clears throat> sorry, without that key document, it's going to be very, very difficult even to explain to the licensees how we do the distribution with the money we collect. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You mentioned earlier in our discussion how the open day um, aligns with NASCAM's uh, you know, long-term goals and future plans for the organization. So do you have plans to have open days uh, more than once this year? Definitely, Nina. Um, this is the one, the starting point. We're going to hold this co uh, corporate the unique license, uh, licenses once every quarter. We're going to have one discussion or one meeting with the licenses, and we're going to have more platforms where we can engage them. So it is for us very, very important that we have this communication and we maintain this communication with the licenses so that we continuously improve and understand what are the issues uh, and how we can improve uh, to provide uh, our services to the licenses. So yes, for the corporates or the licenses we have, also for the members, Going forward, we're going to try to have them on a more regular, on a frequent basis, maybe. Mr. Nikanor, on that note, any final remarks from you this evening? Uh, well, I hope some of the NBC uh, managers will attend this event because it's very key that we, we engage with them and see what are the issues really from uh, NBC side. As, as, a, as, as a public broadcaster and one of the largest key st the stakeholders, we, we want, really hope that NBC will attend this event. That's Sir, my final word. Thank you. We thank you so much for your time and thank you for joining us this evening. That was uh, Mr. Albert Nicanor, who is the CEO of NASCAM, speaking to us there via Zoom on NASCAM's corporate open day for all the licensees that will be taking place on the 24th of April at the NAST Hotel School. If you'd like more information, you can contact the organization directly. On that note, that wraps up today's edition of the Daily Roundup with Nina. We're back tomorrow, same time and place. Do join us then from myself and the team. It's good night and thank you for watching.